So what's the story of how you came to write Beers for Beer in the first place? Well, uh, actually, it all started from a cartoon in the New Yorker magazine. I was leafing through the New Yorker, looking at the cartoons, as I do once a week, and there was a cartoon there It was, <clears throat> depicted a scene in a bar, an upscale bar, and it was an L-shaped bar, and on the long arm or leg of the bar was a man in a business suit and a tie, glasses, well-coiffed hair, middle-aged elderly man, obviously an, an executive. Uh, and from the context, you would come to the conclusion that he was a publishing executive. He was in publishing, and well, around the, around the corner of the bar, on the smaller leg of that L, sat another man. First man is sipping a martini. This guy is drinking a beer, and he uh, he's very unkempt, and looks like he hasn't shaved in four or five days, and ill-dressed. Obviously, a writer. So, the caption in the cartoon is the the publisher is saying to this writer, "No, sorry, I don't think a children's book about beer would sell." And I looked at that and I kind of smiled or chuckled, as I'm sure thousands of other people did. But the difference is. They turned the page and went on to the next cartoon or the next article, but I just had to stop and think about that because, to me, that sounded like a challenge. Awesome. Did, oh, sorry. I decided at that moment that I think I'll write a children's book about beer, and I think it will sell. Did you think? Did you ever think it could be a musical? No. Did that request strike you as strange when I first reached out of to you? Of course. <laughs> but I love Strange Request. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Strange is my middle name. 